Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today we're going to continue our playthrough of Atba Golf. Uh, we're playing on the Metro DC golf course and we're playing Greg Norman versus Tom Watson. And we're ready to pick this back up with hole number seven. So let's uh, get right into it. As you can see, this is a par three, 174 yards. So hopefully this one will go pretty quick and uh, we'll see where we're at. All right. So just to remind everybody, uh, Metro DC, pin location two, uh, calm conditions and normal. This is uh, round one. Like I said, we're starting on hole number seven here. And Greg Norman is one under par and Tom Watson is plus three. Okay, so let's see how this goes. So we go over to Metro DC, reset hole, transfer hole to hole number seven, and a 33 on a calm day stays normal. So we go control Q, and the first golfer up is Greg Norman. It's 170 yards. His iron is a four. So on 170, I think he'll hit his seven iron. And hopefully he can hit this baby right down the course here. He rolls a 35 and a 35 is a four. And a four is his average. He'll take his shot. <coughs> 165, dead center. Okay, that puts him on the green. His ball is on the green. And it is going to be two straights and one diagonal. Calculate that. It's 46 feet. Okay. Control Q. And we have Tom Watson. I'm going to check uh scorecard here real quick. He got a six on a par five. He Bogey, so let's see if he has anything left that he can use up here. Bounce back, yes. He's going to use his bounce back on this hole. And so he's going to shoot this thing with his iron is a four. He's going to shoot this at... He's going to shoot a six iron. Oops. Okay, I've done, clicked on something I shouldn't have. Not sure what. Oop. Okay, all in one again. Oh, I didn't hit in or out of that. He's going to shoot his six iron. He gets a four. His average takes the shot. It's 175. So he's going to be. Two straights and one diagonal off the hole. He's on the green. Two straight, one diagonal. Calculate. He's at 45 feet. Okay. So I'll give you a quick look at the hole so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, Norman. He came in here at 65, so he was one diagonal, two straights. And Watson came in at 75, so 
60, 75, again, one diagonal, two straight. So they're pretty close to the same distance from each other. So we'll go do our putting. Okay, we're gonna to move to the putting boards. We have Norman at 46, Watson at 45. So Norman, he's gonna um, play safe. He rolls to putt. It is a 21 and a 21 is a 27 at 46 46 with a 27 is five feet five feet and we have watson doing the same thing he rolls he has a 16 that's 25 on 45 and that puts him at four feet all right norman He's putting. He's going for it this time. He rolls. Gets a 24. That's 28 on five feet. Oh, he missed it. It's a tap in. Tap in means close enough for tap in. Next putt made. Okay, next putt made. So he gets a one. And then he's in. We ended up bogeying that par three. Okay, Watson. He's rolling at four feet. He gets a 64. That's a 23 at four feet. He is in. Okay. In. Transfer putts. All right. And so he shoots a four. No fairway, but he had a green. And his putts are three putts. All right, player three is a three. He gets a green, and he two putted. So he's plus three. All right. So we're gonna set up for the eighth hole now. Reset hole. Transfer hole. Hole number eight, enter, uh, 56, crosswind right, okay, so let's take a look at the course on hole number eight, okay, hole number eight has a slight dog leg, slight dog leg to the right up here at 245, and then the pin location is slightly off to the left. So we want to land up here around that 250 marker and then go ahead and, and get on the green from there. All right, so that's what we're going to try with both golfers. And we'll see how we do. A little more room to the left. So again, we'll have to check it out. All right, control Q. And puts us on Mr. Watson. And he's looking at his wood is a four. If he hits that three wood, it's going to put him right around 250. I think that's what he'll do. A three wood. He's going to aim left. Five. Okay, here we go. He rolls, it's a 15. Oh, and a 15 is a three. And a three oh, for him is not his average. Takes the shot. He's at 255, left 10. In the fairway, he gets a roll of 25. Ooh, that's a big roll, 25. Puts him at 280, left hand. Which is in the fairway. So that's a really powerful shot. Update him, fairway, record. All right, now we go to Norman. He has a bounce back. He's going to take that after that last hole. He needs it. 
He's going to hit his three wood. He's going to aim. Let's see. Picking five. I think he'll be all right with that. Three wood. He gets a three, which is his average. Takes the shot. Yep, 255 on the money, so we know that's in the fairway, and it rolls. 25 puts him at 280. We'll update that fairway, and both golfers are laying there together. All right. So that brings up Greg Norman. He is 70 yards away. So he'll hit his 50 to 70. And he's going to take his approach shot. It is a 43 on an approach. Is a 5. Takes that shot. Puts him at 355. Center line. Three fifty-five is one diagonal, so he's on the green. And he's one diagonal, which is going to be ten feet. Nice, nice approach. Okay, we go to Watson. He's also at seventy. He'll take his seventy on his approach. Rolls the dice. He gets sixty-four. That's a four. That's really nice. Four. Takes his shot. He's at 345, left five. He is one straight away. So he's ball on green. And one straight. Calculate. 11 feet. Wow, these two guys are playing neck and neck now. All right, we go to the putting boards. We have a 10 foot and 11 foot. So Watson's putting first. He's going for it. Here's his putt. It is a 35, which is a 9 on 11 feet. It is in. Nice putt by Tom Watson. Puts it in there. All right. Next up is Norman. He's at 10 feet. He putts with a 44. And that's a six on 10 feet. He's in also. They both two putt. In. Boom. Transfer these putts. And that puts them at three strokes on a par four. He gets a birdie. He had a fairway. He had a green. And he one putted. Watson. He gets a three. He has a fairway. He has a green. And he one putted. All right. So they both birdied. Let's look at their um, cards real quick. No momentum for Norman. Two momentum for Watson. He needs to use his. All right. We're going to go to the ninth hole. Reset hole, transfer hole, ninth hole. Okay. And 22 is going to be no win. So let's take a look at the hole. All right. Here we are in the ninth hole. This is a par 5, 602 yards. You can see there's a dog leg to the left at 375, 375 to 380. And there is a deep rough right here. So we don't want to get in that before we get up here to the green. So this is a long hole, 602 yards. We'll see how the boys can do with this. All right. So we'll go control Q. And we got Watson up first. He's going to use a momentum. He needs it. Because he birdied last time and he's got one. He's hitting his driver. 
There's no wind. He's going to use he's the average, which is a four. Let's see where he puts it. Average. And he takes his shot. And it is 265 right 10. Which is in the fairway. And he rolls 25. Puts him at 290 right 10. That's a fairway. Beautiful. Record. All right. So Greg Norman's up. Control Q. He's got to hit his driver. He's going to aim left five. And hit his driver. It's a 46 which is, uh-oh, 32. This might not be good. Takes his shot. It's 285, right 15. Whew, he's still in the fairway. All right. It's going to roll. Oh, it rolls 40. Wow. That's a 325. Let's take a look and see where that's going to be at. 325 is right here. 5, 10, 15. He's still just barely. He's still in the fairway, and that's a good good place to be here on this right-hand side. That's gonna. That was a great shot. All right. Looking good there for Greg Norman. So I got to update this. Fairway. All right. Control Q. Go back to Watson. He is 310 away. So 310 on a wood for him. He can't reach it. He would like to come up at about 475. So that would be about a hundred and let's see, 475 would be one. Let's see, it'd be five and five. So it'd be about 155. So with his irons of four, 155, that's an eight iron. He's going to hit this eight iron because he does want to get in that deep rough. And see how he does here. He's hitting straight away. His eight iron. No win. I'm gonna just hit it. He rolls. He gets a 56, which is uh, 17. See how he does. Takes the shot. 440, right 15. He's good. He's in the fairway, and he rolls five. 445, right 15, in the fairway. Okay. So, control Q. Now, we're 280 with uh, Greg Norman, but he still can't reach that with his wood. So, he needs to lay up at about... Let's see. It's 280 away. I think he'll hit his um, 7 iron. He's going to hit a 7 iron. And straight away, he rolls. It's a 23, which is, oh, it's a 3. That's his average iron. Perfect. He takes that. What? Oh, I looked at the wrong one. It's not an average. He's a four. Yeah. Okay. Takes his shot. Ah, the game caddy keeps you from messing up sometimes. All right. He's at 490, left five, and he gets a roll of five. He's in the fairway. 495. Beautiful.
Yeah, just short of that heavy, heavy, heavy stuff. All right, so we're going to update, fairway, record, control Q. Watson's up. He is now 160 yards out. His iron's a four, 160. His seven iron would carry him there. 155, the eight iron would carry him there. I think you'll hit that seven iron because I don't want to come up short. So he's going to hit his seven iron. Straight on. Takes the shot. It's a 33. Oh, beauty. That's a three. It's not his average. Takes the shot. He's at 610 left five. He's on the green, went farther than I wanted it to. One straight, two diagonals. He is 49 feet. All right. Norman's at 105. And he's on the... Um, See a 105. His irons a four. Whew. He's gonna hit <clears throat> his gap wedge. He's going to do a knockdown. He's gonna roll the dice. We're gonna see how this works. Hope it works okay. He's gonna roll the dice. It's a 23 which is 16 and he's going to apply the knockdown takes the shot he's at 605 left 15 he barely got on the green he is five straight and one diagonal. Wow. I mean, he's just barely on the far side of the green. But he's on the green. 90 feet. Okay. Hey, when you're on the green, you got a chance. All right. Go to the putting boards. So Norman at 90 feet. Of course, he's playing it safe. He rolls the die. He gets a 41. The 41 is 19 at 90 feet. That ain't too bad. Four feet away. Woo, that's pretty good for that far away. Watson is going to roll. He's playing it safe at 49 feet. 46. It's 26 on 49. Puts him four feet away. All right. We'll go back to Norman. Now he's going for it at four feet. He rolls. It's a 53, which is 16 at four feet. He's in. And we have uh, Watson doing the same thing from four feet. He rolls a 23, which is 21. At four feet, he's in. So he got it in. All right. Transfer to the scorecard. And let's see. Norman on a par five. Gets there in five. He had a fairway and a green. And he two-putted. And five strokes for Watson. Fairway. Oops. Green. And he two putted. 
All right, that finished the front nine. We did that in about 30 minutes, which is pretty good. I've got the hang of this game a little bit. These go a lot faster. I think we will um, call this right here. And that way, keep the video kind of short. People can watch it. It doesn't take too long. And then I'll set up to start playing the back nine. So I hope you're enjoying it. This is a lot of fun. Uh, last night, I played a live uh, match uh, with uh, ID Jester. And uh, we finished the uh, same course that I'm playing here after six holes, and we were tied. So it's a really tight match. That's between uh, ID Jester's using Lanny Watkins, and I'm using Fuzzy Zeller, and it is nip and tuck the whole way. So we had a blast doing it. We'll probably um, keep working on that course. But uh, if you get a chance, uh, go over to Jester's channel, ID Jester, and uh, check it out. All right, everybody. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. All this helps me, of course. And I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you guys later.